we get some better lighting going on. I don't know how exactly to do that. Um, is that better? I don't know. It's probably as good as it'll get in this messed up room. Um, we're probably going to experience a disconnect between my lips and the noise coming out because I'm doing this once again on my slow computer so as I'm making this video our friend Joey seems to be having some sort of issue and she has missed her day I am in contact with her and we're gonna get it sorted out um <clears throat> I mean, she's going to be the boss. She has to go. <laughs> Alright, the thing that the issue this week was, um, how has embracing your trans identity helped you? Um, stuff like uh, a change in diet, um, exercise routines, outlook, um, all change whenever you decide to go through transition. Um, whenever you finally address who you are and you start living for yourself, you magically <laughs> start to uh, want to live for a while so as soon as I started living as Emma I keep throwing my hair in my face sorry I even part time I, I changed my diet and I lost 40 pounds over a stretch of three years. Um, I also stopped um, obsessing over when I would die and how I would leave my family. I was certain that I was going to uh, punch my ticket, so to speak, right around the age of uh, about 40 years old. Um, whenever the baby was big enough to um, essentially be self-sufficient. Uh, I know it's a very selfish way of thinking for a person, for a parent. Um, but whenever you're living a lie, you're not really uh, uh, what's the word? I don't know, you just, you just don't think clearly. Um, <coughs> so, I uh, I started making better health decisions. I started working out a lot more. I ride my bike almost everywhere. Um, right now I weigh 139 pounds. I used to weigh 185 pounds. Um, I was a risk for diabetes. Not anymore. I had high blood pressure. Not anymore. Um, I started taking better care of my parents. Uh, you see the uh, makeup and started doing my eyebrows and dyeing my hair and wearing different clothes every day. <laughs> I just, it, it, things got better and I wanted, I wanted to present myself in a, in a more, um, adult 
an organized manner. Uh, also, I I knew that I'd need money, lots and lots of money. Um, I I don't have any. I didn't really before, and um. So I s I decided that I was gonna start pursuing a science instead of an art. Um. So I'm, a d I'm actually a double major now, um, English and biology. Uh, and it's, it's expensive and it's difficult. Um, but I like to write and I like the animals, the birds and the butterflies. <laughs> and I like the moths and the ringtails and the bees and everything else, I, le I, I just, I'm totally into conservation and uh, environmentalism and stuff like that. Um, what else? Boots. <laughs> Randomly I'm gonna say boots. I just got these. Where? Come here. These boots are awesome. These are like motorcycle boots. I can't get them in the shot. It doesn't mirror right. Anyway, they're like chocolate brown. And one item, one article of clothing can make you change up your entire wardrobe. That's how much I love those boots. Um, whereas before, I had almost exclusively purple and silver and black running through my wardrobe. Now I have this yellow and blue and brown, um, like, color splashing blocking thing going on. Um, and I'm probably gonna get some kind of leather re jacket to go with those. Um, the girl said, don't wear a skirt with those, but to hell with her, I'm gonna wear a skirt. I'm gonna find something that goes well with that, that shows off some leg. So, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna try to get a hold of a ring later. Bye.